This is Derek Prince with a word for you from the Word. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. That's one of the conditions of redemption that so many of us overlook. After we've received God's benefits and blessings and mercies, after He's done great things for us, after He has redeemed us from the hand of the enemy, and of course that enemy is the devil, the enemy of man, the enemy of our souls and our bodies. When God has provided redemption for us through the Lord Jesus Christ, then let's remember what's expected of us. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We have boldly to declare the fact of our redemption. We are not to keep quiet about it. We're to declare it with our lips. We are redeemed, redeemed out of the hand of the devil, redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The New Testament says in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. And Paul reminds us in Romans that it's not enough to believe in the heart. He says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's good to believe in the heart, but remember, it's not sufficient. You have to confess. You have to say out loud with your mouth what you believe in your heart. You have to make the words of your mouth agree with God's word in the scripture. And when your words and God's words agree, then you really have the fullness of redemption. Let the redeemed of the Lord say something.